In this video, we're going to get set up to remove the engine. All right, guys, um, I have kind of decided on where I'm going to set up the bike for um, not lifting it, but just retaining it in position, just kind of levitating the bike. What? Oh, you too, eh? No, I'm going to have trouble with you. No. Well, let me give you a little advice. What? That. Oh. Now, go on. Go to sleep before I murder you. Uh, you got some ambulers? Um, so yeah, those are at an angle and it is going to, um, put a little front loading onto the, um, front of the bike. But again, the intent here is to just give, um, what? give me enough room or, or, or keep the frame. Sorry. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to keep the frame up in the air while I drop the engine. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, and this video was really just about kind of getting things prepped for that. Um, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and remove, um, this particular dog bone and go ahead and potentially remove, definitely remove the back wheel and probably the back the, the, the shock see there's a lot of question in my mind about what i should do here um because this mount here is going to have well actually you know what now that i'm looking and that may not have a ton of stress on it uh, we'll see but this dog bone and this front mount, sorry, this front mount will be the only two things remaining that hold the bike up. Let me get things straightened out for you. So uh, here and here and here and maybe there are what are keeping the bike in the frame. I question this one a little bit, but I can tell you that there is gonna be at least some stress to the suspension there. Um, the, oh yeah, I forgot about the isolator. So there's that too. All right, so we should be okay to remove this. Um, so I can remove this, this, and then leave the rear isolator and the front isolator uh, connected and go ahead and take off the rear swing arm. So let's go ahead and maybe get started on uh, a few things here. I'm not sure the extent of this video. I may end up pausing to collect my thoughts before I proceed any further. That said, there are a couple things that I still have to do. So this video will not be removing the engine. I do want to make sure that everybody knows we are not removing the engine in this video. There's still some stuff I have to figure out. Um, I'm going to study on this. I don't want to be breaking as the wiring harness has got to come down and through and out in a couple different spots so it's going to require quite a bit of concentration from my end i've got to disconnect some stuff uh, and the shock has to come off anyway to be able to do that so yeah there's there's a number of things i have to worry about and i don't want to do it all in this one video that said the next video after this one has a 54.765298% chance of dropping that engine. Nerd! It's either that or I'll stretch this out like a Disney series. And we'll just uh, remove one bolt at a time and that'll be its own individual video. No, I won't do that. I don't have the time to edit that many videos. I got to tell you, man, uh, this video editing thing, I'm not very good at it. You probably have noticed, you know, I'm not into that very much. 
I use very basic editing software and my editing skills are incredibly basic. But I'm glad y'all are watching it. Hopefully you're learning something about how the bike, how these bikes are put together and maybe some ideas if you run into an issue like I am uh, where you need to drop the engine or you want to do a full rebuild like I'm doing here. At least you know a guy who did it and uh, you can re reference these videos perhaps. So let me get the phone set up on a tripod. We'll put it in time lapse again. We're just removing this and this. Definitely this. Probably this. And that. If this comes out, that has to come out. So it can't be either or, it has to be both. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get there, we'll get there. I do have kids to take care of tonight. My wife is working late, so I'm kind of squeezing this in today to get some footage. So uh, yeah, all right, that's enough. Let's just get started. guys let's catch you up to where we're at so I just went for it um, I, this mess in my garage is getting bigger and bigger hey always remember to put the jack handle up so you don't trip on it anyways it's a pro tip for you today got the fan removed so you can see why hopefully you can see why well can't get the Surely you can see that that's an oil leak. So, and those two studs are gonna be really fun. I'm gonna to have to soak those down quite a bit with some um, penetrant. By the way, my dad hooked me up with this stuff. Let me show you really quick. Superzilla. Uh, I'd never heard of them before and it's freaking awesome. This stuff is amazing. Uh, I've been using P PB Blaster and other PB products, Croil, all these different um, penetrants for a long time. And this, by far, is the best, period. You may disagree, but you can't until you try it. This is amazing. Uh, also has a high flash point, so you can heat up uh, bolts and stuff and uh, it won't flame up on you, which is true of the others too, but um, this, you know, it's not gonna catch on fire. Because Help me, I don't wanna die! Oh, stop jumping! <laughs> <laughs> because it's, you know, usually when it's green, it usually means it sucks, but not in this case. So anyways, uh, what I have to do now is, you can see that I've got everything out of the way for the harness, so, Dropping the engine should be a little easier. There's not anything bolted up there. So that should all come out as one unit. I do have to uh, still take the fuel pump and all that stuff loose, fuel line, etc. Which also means that I have to replace all those O-rings. That's gonna be fun. Uh, the front or rear and front Isolators are still connected, so the engine is still in there. And uh, I put the jack on here just to, you know, I mean, stuff happens, and I just want to kind of hold this guy up. I might figure out, I might jerry rig something with uh, my my uh, rear wheel stand, like put a board under it, and like you know, hold the bike up that way so it's on a stable footing, you know, wide base instead of just a single. No peg leg in it right there. So, all right. Also, got the uh, clutch cable out. And let me tell you, those guys take a while. And also, the O-ring that came with it uh, disintegrated. 
they have uh, Buell says to put Teflon um, or um, yeah thread sealant on on those threads before installing it. And now I know why that that uh, O-ring was hosed. Uh, there it is, right there. It just was crumbling. This is uh, my quick shifter pickup. I just left that connected. Uh, these are just snugged up. That's the the clutch uh, actuator. So just keep everything kind of buttoned up so I don't lose parts. And then uh, next thing will be to um, fish these, this harness through and kind of drape it down. That's something that will take 10 seconds. I can do that next, next video. And from there, it will literally be me having micro panic attacks while I start dropping this engine. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, let this guy down, drop it down until it's uh, as far down as I can get it, and then um, take everything loose. So if it does happen to wiggle on me or want to drop, it's not, it doesn't have very far to fall, right? Because as it is right now, that's, you know a good, what, 18 inches or so, something like that. So, well, that's not 18 inches. You get my point. Um, yeah, so this was a non-issue. I thought this thing would be super tight. It was not, it was, you know, it was tight, but not, not crazy. That's it, guys. I think, I think we're at a good stopping point. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna figure out how to support this more better. Uh, probably across that back end right there with a piece of wood and uh, my bike stand and um, let it sit for a minute while I get other things taken care of. All right, let me know if you have any questions down below, any comments, any ideas of how I could handle this maybe better than what I just suggested. Um, and that said, till next time, peace out. Keep it busy.